There was nothing. I'm gonna use this thing because it has a little bit more reach on it. God damn it! <laughs> come on, come on. Get stuck. Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> oh man. That was tough. Dr. Grout here because the other ones I'll have to buy a lot of uh, blood bags and I don't want to do that yet hmm. I want to see if I can pass this area if I can unlock another area maybe I can get my character stronger to do these quests because right now I'm getting my ass kicked I do have a pretty good brawl <clears throat> the ability to fight barehanded, but I'm get, I guess I have to combine that with potence to have really, really good. Uh, uh, what I'm, what's the word I'm looking for here? Damage or results. So I think I have to spend some points into my potence here. I wish I could do all three, but maybe I can eventually. But for now, I think potence is my next move. Because this is not getting me anywhere. <laughs> I'm not really doing that much more damage. So, yeah, let me do a, a hard save here to the downtown hub. Find a, a manhole. And the only reason I'm doing a hard save is. Boo. Uh, can I grab this guy before they see me? Uh, looks like I can. There you go, buddy. That should uh, <laughs> should chill you out a little bit. How you doing? <laughs> there we go. Getting that nice supply of blood. Okay, so in case I have to do any serious fighting, like a boss fight or anything uh, in that area, for boss fights I really do need uh, extra bags of blood, because I'm just getting my ass kicked otherwise, and I have to use my obfuscate ability as best as I can, which doesn't always work, but... It's worth giving it a shot. I wish I can open that door. Alright. Let's go to Grout's mansion. And now I can do quick saves too, because I got that hard save back there. Oh! Mines is here! You! you. What are you doing here? Why am I hearing echoes? Yo, Nines, what's up? No. That wasn't really a yes or no question. You should get out of here. This place is bad news. Pardon me. Maybe for you, but for a badass like me. <laughs> oh man. That was really awkward. And I cannot get out of here. Even if I wanted to. Still can't get out, so... Uh, can I go to that door? Even if I could, there's no there's no knob on it, so... Let's see what the quest log says. You encountered Nines at, the, at Grout's mansion, and he seemed a bit out of sorts. I don't think that was Nines, to be honest. 
Yo, nice. What's up? No. <laughs> He's like, no. Okay. No to you too, then. Okay. Let's go sneak up on in here and see what happens. Hopefully nothing too terrible. Oh shit. Oh, I remember this place. Are they gonna attack me? Yep. <laughs> Please go stealthy. Please go stealthy, thank you. Can I not? There we go. Fuck me. <laughs> that throw though. Uh, okay. Item gained. Uh, it's gonna be one of those missions, huh? <clears throat> Quest log updated. You just entered Grout's mansion and something about it doesn't feel quite right. Oh, you mean the crazy guys who attacked me? Yeah, that doesn't feel quite right. Is that guy an Osferatu? You gotta die, son. Sorry. Let's see if I can, can kill this guy. These guys seem to be more dangerous than the other ones. But he's, he has such an awkward pattern. Damn it. Ooh, that was nice. No oh, shit. Is she dead? I'm still crouched though. I'm doing a lot of damage now. And I can eat this guy, apparently, so all good there. Okay, uh, looks like I can pretty much kill these guys with no problems. So that feels good, Un unlike the other boss fights. Oh, we got something here. It is quite peculiar. The happenings I've been made to witness for my supernatural longevity. I am thinking of one unfortunate phenomenon in particular of unique interest to my station, <laughs> both as a professional and as a sufferer of this vampiric condition. It seems the stream of time has begun to erode the moorings of my chosen course of study, for the methodologies that gave birth to psychology are slowly disappearing. I find myself in an era that overlooks the physical component of psychological pathology time and again in favor of the sophistic practices of Freud. Phrenology, dactopintalism, and the rest of the old god has fallen by the wayside, its champions all silenced in death, with my unique exception. Would that I could make my voice heard again, although it may be suspicious should I return to popular medical discourse fifty years after my apparent death. No, better that I continue my <laughs> studies into the psychoses in secret. One day, may I hold up my own cure as validation of the methods. I am confident no cure for my... This guy likes to talk a lot. My beloved wife lies within our figurative minds, waiting to be unlocked by the correct combination of memories... Oh my God, from our childhoods. And I'm most certain it has nothing to do with the relationship between myself, my parents, and my genitals my genitals and i choose to what? save my course in time too may your star fade and disappear i uh, i gotta be honest here i didn't pay much attention to what that guy said it just seemed ridiculous way too much way too much information too long did not listen are there any more fuckers down here? Should be. Can't do anything here? This music is certainly weird. 
Oh. <laughs> we we got a guy who likes playing at the candlesticks <laughs> and finds it amusing. Looks like that's my next thing there to do. There's another one of those things to listen to. Looks like that's that could be a note there. You are dead. Yes, you are. <clears throat> what is this? Perception at once shapes the mind and rules over time. Time, however, erodes human perception and then it turn, in turn wraps, warps the mind. The mind is capricious, having various effects on perception, time, and the mind itself. With harmony, progress is made. Harmon harmony between time, perception, and the mind. I think that's what what he's referring to. So, uh, I guess I can use these to do something with them. Maybe I have to light them all up. Oh, this one has a timer. And this one... What? Really? I solved the riddle? <laughs> okay, GG for me, I guess. What's this? Am I gonna listen to another boring thing? Another unfortunate casualty. Yes, I am. Indeed, <laughs> tide of time, insane asylums. I lament their loss, not only as brokerage houses for the breadth and depth of human psychosis, but also I shall mourn the disappearance of that peculiar environment present only in an insane asylum. That palpable atmosphere of blistered brains and churning bowels. The I, I did get an experience point. However, I am tempted to put it into my stealth or wait for dexterity or even into intelligence yeah because i have a book i need to read really flowing bodily humors that gently rolling cacophony of distant sobs cacophony screams, the muttered cursing at perceived enemies and the blissful gurgling like a newborn babe discovering the sky. Hmm. I shall still find test subjects as surely as I find bloody sustenance in the night, but this climate, I fear, may never be replicated. Oh my god. I don't know why I just said that. Did this open... Not this one. This one? It did, didn't it? Yes, it did. Who am I gonna kill here? Answer, everybody. Not even gonna think about it twice. And maybe feed on this guy. Yeah. Nice. Get that blood. And no one was the wiser. Can I pick that up? Nope. Now. Maybe I shouldn't have put any points into sneak if I'm using obfuscate all the time. I think that might be like a waste of time in itself. Or a waste of points, not of time. <clears throat> Die. This one is locked. <clears throat> These ones are... 
luck to him. I wonder, can you perform stealth kills? Will be revealed if you interact in the environment, if you touch anyone, any melee attack, do double damage, cast one blood per activation, last 24 seconds, obfuscate carries no risk of violating. Huh, okay. <clears throat> I'm guessing the stealth kills are um, just for when you're crouched. Let's see. Well, that was useless, wasn't it? So if I can't, that one is locked, that one might be locked from the other side. So what was the point of me coming here if I couldn't do anything? I gotta do more. In this strange, strange mansion. Can't do anything there. I saw some stairs up here. I'm guessing I can go on these. And my guess could not be more wrong. Alright, so this one has an eye on it. Which... Oh, it does that. So if I close this, will that door still be open? La, 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 la. It is okay. I guess I gotta try other combinations then. Oh, la, 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 uh, that's perception. That's perception. This is time, and this is the mind. Perception at once shapes the mind and rules over time. Time, however, erodes human perception and then in turn warps the mind. The mind is capricious, having various effects on perception, time and the mind itself. With harmony, progress is made. So, perception shapes the mind Time erodes human perception and the mind is capricious. So perception, mind and time. What is unknown? Is this... Is this the thing I gotta sell? Wikapog Fristal. This petrified reed was not meant to fall into the hands of the damned. But vampires can benefit from its shamanic magic all the same. Increases defense by one point. Ooh. Really? Really? That is amazing. Huh. I didn't even see that. I wonder where, what else did I miss. something happen? Nope. Not there. Maybe I have to do it again. Perception, the mind, and time. shapes the mind and rules over time, erodes human perception and then in turn warps the mind. Hmm. Are there any other clues in that room? Am I gonna have to look this up? I really hope I do not have to do that. 
because I don't want to do that. I remember having trouble here. There's no indication on the doors. Yeah, there are... Oh, is this something I can pull on? Okay. Guess I got it right in the first place. Now I just gotta do the other things. Okay. I'm getting close to being seen there. Stop laughing, bitch. <laughs> They all have these knives. Guess I had it from the beginning. Somehow. That guy did. Oh. We're gonna stop. We're gonna stop here. You did. Often I reflect with great regret on the missed opportunity that was my infector. Had I been conscious of the attack, I could have stopped the orderlies from the rock and the then. But I would have been just one interview, a few simple questions of the plague ridden one from my own at dawn. Plague? And of course, there is no guarantee she would have been any more helpful than my current crop of test subjects, mewling wretches. Few could be called them. Enthusiastic. Given uh, the nature no. of the tests, I cannot expect the same fervor from all, but a modicum of cooperation would be appreciated. And Ooh. the one called John went the so far to off his arm and escape into the floorboards like some feral rodent. I still hear him scurrying about at night. He must have made an atrocious mess in there. An atrocious mess in there. Who's seeing me? That's my screen. Alright. Is that guy dead? That guy is dead because the the thing is zero. We got another one here. I just got one defense from that. Combat defense is at four now. Ooh. My studies proceed at a languid pace. I'm mired in a foul ennui as my wife's illness advances. My subjects grow restless without proper supervision, but I cannot pull myself back from this black depression. How black many depression? nights I've wasted now, gazing from the tower walk, pondering. Am I gonna fight this guy? Existence. Probably. Do another quick save. What? I'm at 42 here. There's gotta be some people up here. That thing was getting higher, now it's getting lower. Now it's getting higher. What do we have here? A nice view of the city. And a view of the neighboring houses that are up on this hill. Where will this take me? I am the vampire. I love how the camera. There we go. No, it, it flips and it goes all over the place in first person too. What we got here? Let's see. Can we get this girl with sneak only? Uh, yep. <laughs> okay. How is she still laughing? 
<laughs> Maybe that's another one. <laughs> oh, I'm just saying. What's the mask? Now, what's in here? Isn't this? This looks like the same room. I was in earlier. You're dead. Let's uh... I think I wanna munch on this guy. Where's he gonna pass through? Not through here. There we go. I'm gonna munch on him. If you ever stop, I ah, just kill him. <laughs> just kill him. We'll munch on her. Mm, delicious. Delicious and nutritious. Same old knives. So I came through that door. We got some options. This one is closed with one of those contraptions. This one is open. This one is open. Oh! Is this that place? Yes, it is. Okay, somehow those doors are now opening. Well, it looks like I'm going this way. Don't know what's over here. I hear some more of those... Uh... There's two of them. What's so funny? Hey, there's still one of you in that reflection over there. And I'm pretty sure there's none of you left. Hey, I can't see my beautiful self in that. And there's some bullshit. After decades of solitary study into this affliction, I have learned that it is by oh, no means... Oh, this is not a mirror. Indeed, the city is home to an entire society of similarly afflicted individuals that is not a mirror. with whom I've only recently made contact. They are an understandably <laughs> standoffish sort, by and large, but I have been able to confirm with them that the condition is indeed bamboo. That is not a mirror. Apparently comes in a multitude of strains, each with a spectacular set of symptoms such as invisibility and even a sort of lycanthropy. Through numerous official interactions with the governing body of this secret society, I have concluded that their fundamental yep. understanding of the vampiric condition is woefully lacking, and mired in suspicion and pseudo-religious dogma that would make a Turk balk for its strictures. Indeed, they seemed hmm. impressed with my studies and the eloquence with which I was able to present them. Apparently, the typical need to sufferer this of my particular strain of vampirism is far from the vanguard of the king's English. So impressed were they that they even offered me an office in their government, a rather high office by the sound of things. I believe I shall accept. If nothing else, it should provide a lofty vantage point from which to observe the breadth and epidemiology of the affliction so that I may move more expeditiously toward a cure. He wants to cure the vampirism? He wants to cure him being a vampire? Alright. So this is gonna bring me back into the main hall. <clears throat> That's gonna do something. <laughs> 